Hello, welcome to Lynn Obang's second video on using SurveyMonkey. In this video, you'll learn how to create a survey, send a survey, and analyze the results of your survey. So first I will sign into SurveyMonkey by going over to the right hand top corner of the surveymonkey.com homepage and then choosing sign in. Okay, here I will enter my username and password and then click on sign in. Okay, now you will be on the home page of SurveyMonkey and you are able to start creating surveys. But before you start creating your survey, um, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit and I want to talk about five tips for writing a great survey. Tip number one, define your objectives. So it's pretty hard to come up with survey questions if you don't even know what you want to base your survey around and what your objectives are. So the first thing you want to do is figure out the decision or decisions that you're trying to make to focus your survey. Okay. Number two, work backwards. So once you've set your objectives, determine the data you need to gather in your survey to make your decision. Step three. Check for bias. Make sure you're not asking leading questions. Step four, do a test drive. So send your survey to friends or colleagues for a test run. And step five, collect results and analyze data. So now you're ready to create your survey. You can choose to click create survey at the bottom of the screen here, or you can scroll back up to the top and um, once you have surveys already created, there's a Create Survey button. And there's also another Create Survey button in the top right-hand corner. So let's click on Create Survey. Okay. Now that we're on the Create Survey page, you have a couple of choices. You can create a new survey, use an expert survey template. And once you've created some of your own surveys, you'll get this option here to copy an existing survey. What I'll show you is how to use an expert survey template. And so let's click on that. And you're given categories to choose from. I'm going to choose education. And then they show you a variety of survey templates that you can choose from. And you'll see that some of them are only uh, for the pro version. But there are a lot of, account, of templates here that you can use for the free account. So let's choose the bullying survey. OK. Once you choose a survey, you'll see on the right hand side here how many questions there are and a preview of the questions. One thing to note here is that um, these questions were created in collaboration with the U.S. Department of Education. So these questions are coming from an American source. So as you scroll down here, you can see the different questions that are going to be asked in the survey. So if you scroll down even further, you can choose continue as long as you like those questions that you want to use for your survey. Now here you're given an uh, option to edit your survey. Right now you can see that we're just in the design survey tab. Okay. So if I wanted to change the look of my survey, I can change, say, to berries. And you'll, no you'll notice that the color scheme is changing here. Or I can pick modern monkey or summer for example. Okay, so let's go with Summer. In order to change the logo, you would have to have the pro account. You can also change your title of the survey if you don't want it called Bullying Survey by clicking on Edit Title, and then you can change the title and choose Save. Okay. As you scroll down, 
here's where you can actually view the questions and what choices they have for answers. So in this case, they have boxes that they can type their answer into. There are other surveys though where you have a ranking scale or you can put in five different multiple choice options. So there are quite a few different ways that you can uh, come up with answers for these. So I'm going to scroll back up to the top here. Now if I wanted to add more questions to this, I would need to have a pro account. And to edit this question, If you click on edit, you can go and type, uh, retype the question or change the question to say whatever you'd like it to say. I'm just going to leave them as is. Towards the very top, on the left hand side, you'll see question bank. And if you hover over the question mark, this is where it talks about um, finding the certified questions. So you could click on the question bank and uh, choose another certified question to add to your survey. So I'm just going to stick with the questions that they have already set up and now I want to click on send survey. Okay this is where you get to choose how you're going to send your survey to collect your responses. So now we're on the collect responses tab. You have many choices here. You can copy and paste this web link into an email. You can take this HTML code and add it to a web page. You can also um, create custom email invitations. You can embed your survey into a website. You can share your survey with friends or colleagues on your Facebook wall. You can embed your survey directly into a Facebook page using the SurveyMonkey app. And you can see there's various other choices here. So I'm going to email an invitation. So I'm going to click on Add. And then I have the uh, option to add recipients of who I'm going to send my email to. So let's click on start. And the first thing I can do is choose if I want to send recipients manually right here. Or I can go from my address book or from a collector. So I'm going to add recipients manually. I'm just going to click and type in some email addresses. So I can see that it says that I've successfully added two recipients. Then I can save and continue. Notice here that if I wanted to, I could save and resume later. So I'm going to hit save and resume later. back in my home page and um, now I see this bullying survey that's been added to my active surveys and click on collect which is where I was and I was working on the email invitation and I want to edit that and then I can view my messages which I don't have any right now okay so for my survey, I need to resume the message I was going to send to the recipient. And I'm going to call this bullying survey. And they give a suggested message here. We are conducting a survey and your response would be appreciated. Okay, and then the link is inserted there and then there's an option for them to be removed from the um, my email list 
next time. Okay, so I'm happy with that. If you want, you can click in here and modify the text. So save and continue. And now I'm at the preview and send. And I can choose to send it right away, or I can choose to schedule an email. So if I click on schedule, I can pick the date and time that I want to send the email. And then I would click OK. So I want to, if I decided that I wanted to send it immediately, I can go send the message immediately. And then I can click on OK. And if you scroll down, one thing I forgot to do is put in the little code here. So you have to put in the code before you can move on. And you want to make sure you're putting it in correctly. Click OK. Now in your messenger message manager, sorry, um, it says bullying survey here and it is scheduled to be sent in four minutes. If you choose that you do not want to send that survey, you can click on cancel and then it will go into your drafts. Okay. If you decide later on that you do want to send it, you can click on resume and then choose how you or when you want to send it. Okay. If you want to edit your message, you can click on edit here and edit the message at any time. To analyze results, you click on the analyze results button. And as you can see, of course, I have no responses here. But um, this is the location where you would go to analyze any of your results. If you decide you'd like to delete one of your surveys, go back to the My Survey tab. Find the title of the survey that you'd like to delete and go over to the far right hand side and choose Delete. I'm going to leave this, but uh, in case you wanted to delete it, it is an option. Okay, so now what I'd like you to do is sign back into SurveyMonkey and then try to create your own survey using one of the templates that they provide.